today we are going to make uh, wilt gryte. That's um, basically translated to English is called wild stew. Now what I have today is a good piece of wild boar meat. That's going to be the main ingredient. So let's get some of this uh, a little bit of the fat off and um, we'll dice this meat. Well, it seems like this is going to take a while, so Let's cheat a little bit here. And here it is. We have um, diced it up. So let's get some other ingredients out and uh, get started. Okay, so we are ready to um, get the meat in the pan. The potatoes are uh, ready to be boiled for the mashed potatoes. And I put another one in the back there for the actual stew. I have some crushed uh, juniper berries. I'll fry that with the meat as well. I'll turn the temperature down a little bit here. I uh, will turn the potatoes on. Yeah, the meat is almost ready to go in the other pot. Let's get all the meat in here. And we'll just set that aside for now. Now the next we're going to put in is uh, some bacon. and onions. Now the complete recipe 
you will find in the description down here below. So the potatoes are burning. We're going to make uh, homemade mashed potatoes. The potatoes is from um, my girlfriend's family farm, her father's old farm where he grew up. Now the wild boar meat is from the wild boar my father shot in Sweden. Let's get this uh, bacon and onion ready. Okay, so bacon and onion are ready. Let's get it into the pot. We'll put that pan aside. We'll add water and we'll bring this to boiling. Well, I'm not sure how, um, how you cook, but um, I usually have more success when I put the pot on the right plates. I, I was putting it here. And this is the heated one. So I just had to move it and we'll try again. Let's get this up to uh, boiling and um, it will boil for around 10 minutes. Okay. We got the bowl going on. Then I can turn it down a little bit and um, let it just boil for around 10 minutes. Well, we wait for the potatoes and um, and the stew. Let's uh, prepare some and uh, yeah, prepare some accessories. Uh, today's will be Brussels sprouts. I uh, went on to the field the other day and picked some. Actually, I picked them yesterday. They're not so big, but they're good. Now what I need to do is um, take out, take off the outer leaves, and it's ready for boiling. Okay, so the stew has been on the stove for about ten minutes, just just boiling. And then the next thing we're going to do is um, put in some black currant jam from the garden out here. And also, we're going to put sour cream in. And next, is a little bit of a Norwegian specialty called brown cheese. So, I'm going to take a, a few slices. And also, melt that into the dish. And I'll stir it all in. Now 
we will uh, we will bring that up to boiling again and we will let that boil a little bit for a few more minutes in the meantime i will clean the brussels sprouts actually i can put the trash here and then You want to get down until you find the, the good green leaves without any bug traces or bug holes. And that means some of them can get small. Cut the stem off. Actually right here I'll cut just a bit of part of the top off and it's good. Okay, potatoes are gone. Let me um, let me get that water. I need to get that water off. Now, butter. And mashing. A little milk. Check on this one. Oh, this is looking really good. All right, mashed potatoes are done. Mashed potatoes. This one is. Thick and good, it's ready, but uh, like a lot of stews, it will only get better when it's simmering like this. Okay, dinner is served. And uh, again, you'll find the recipe for this Norwegian wild stew in the description below. And thank you. Um, Mrs. Christine for letting me participate in this collaboration. Hashtag Wild Game November. <laughs>